what's up? I'm Sir Jonas Marvin Anare. So welcome to our fearless forecast. So we have your five item question again for our fearless forecast for your upcoming board exam. So number one, so some common examples of screening tests are the following. Except A. Pap smear for the cervical cancer screening for women. B. Cholesterol levels in heart disease screening. C. The PSA levels for uh, prostate cancer in men. Or D. The urinalysis for male and female clients. Alright, so number two, we have your uh, the occupational nurse has advocated the use of ramps and assistive equipment for physically challenged workers. This is a good example of which of the following levels of prevention. So A, health promotion, B, secondary prevention, C, tertiary prevention, or D, the primary prevention. And number three, the nurse is participating at a health fair at the local mall giving influenza vaccination to senior citizens. So what level of prevention is the nurse practicing? So A, primary prevention, B, secondary prevention, C, tertiary prevention, or D, the quaternary prevention. And number four, Nurse Rina performs crisis intervention in a community. So what level of prevention is the nurse practicing? So A, primary level of prevention, B, secondary level of prevention, or C, tertiary level of prevention, or D, the quaternary level of prevention. And last number, number five, the nurse performs genetic counseling to a couple. So genetic and prenatal counseling is what or under what level of prevention. So A, primary level of prevention, B, tertiary level of prevention or C, secondary level of prevention and D, the quaternary level of prevention. Okay, so levels of prevention po tayo. We have your three levels of prevention. Wala po tayo yung uh, quaternary level of prevention. So we have your primary level of prevention. Pag sinabi po natin primary level of prevention, we have your target individual. So ang target natin sa ating primary level of prevention are those healthy individuals. So wala pa po silang mga sakit. So ang goal natin sa ating primary level of prevention is for your health promotion and disease prevention that is to delay the actual occurrence of the disease or your injury so under your uh, primary level of prevention we have your activities like your health promotion and your disease prevention activities with our mnemonics the 3h and the 3i mnemonics so 3h we have your health education healthy lifestyle habits we have your uh, hygiene and your uh, sanitation and next we have also your three eyes so we have your eye we have your immunization the isolation of the sick child and your intake of your prophylactic medication so letting go we have your 3h and the 3i for your primary level of prevention health education healthy lifestyle habits we have your uh, hygiene and your sanitation we have also your immunization isolation of the sick child and your intake of your prophylactic drugs. Again, so primary level of prevention, wala pang sakit ang ating mga target na individual. And next, we have also our secondary level of prevention. So pag sinabi natin secondary level of prevention, our target individuals here are the high-risk individuals and your sick or ill individuals. So ang ating goal dito is to early detect your uh, condition and to prompt treat the disease okay so we have your activities under secondary level of prevention we have your screening and your diagnostic test procedure so ang mnemonics naman natin sa ating mga activities we have your cbc mnemonics c for your case finding tools lahat po ng mga case finding tools natin like your uh, like your sputum exam for your tb we have also your oplantin bank for malnutrition tourniquetes for your hemorrhagic diseases and we have also your skin biopsy or skin smear for your leprosy. Next letter B, any form of your blood test. Okay, we have your CBC blood test, we have your Western blood, we have your ELISA test, and any form of your blood test. And we have also your letter C, we have also your contact tracing, and we have also your letter C, also we have your case finding and the crisis intervention. Okay, so yun po yung ating secondary level of your prevention. Again, so we have your CBC, we have your case finding tools, we have your blood tests, we have your uh, contact tracings and your uh, case finding tools and the screening procedures like your, uh, like your uh, x-ray, MRI, ultrasound, we have your uh, ECG, colonoscopy, biopsy, pap smear, PSA level, cholesterol level, so that is your under your screening procedures. And last level of our prevention, the tertiary level of prevention. So pag sinabi po natin tertiary level of prevention, we have your tertiary level of prevention, the 
target individuals here are the seriously ill or the chronically ill clients okay so we have your uh, we have your uh, goal here this is to uh, delay or to prevent the uh, progression of your disease or disability and to prevent complication and to restore your level of functioning so the most common activities in your tertiary level of prevention is rehabilitation now let me go the most common activities in your in your uh, tertiary level is your rehabilitation so we have your mnemonics we have your thumbs mnemonics okay we have your thumbs up mnemonics t for your therapy we have your h for your helping your clients in your relocation we have your letter u use of assistive device m for your continuous monitoring we have also your letter b we have also your b bandages and your splints u for your use of your uh, use of your maintenance drugs and letter p we have also your letter p the prosthetic device and your medical devices so letting go of your thumbs up mnemonics letter t any form of therapies letter h we are helping your clients for relocation uh, example kapag nagkaroon ng mga disasters i-relocate -re natin sila that is your that is your uh, tertiary level of profession we have your stress debriefing also in your tertiary level of profession we have also your letter U use of assistive devices letter M we have your monitoring of your blood sugar and blood pressure to prevent complications letter B we have also your bandages and splints letter U use of your maintenance drugs and letter P we have your prosthetic devices and the other medical devices. So, yun po yung ating nasa tertiary level of prevention. So, babalikan na natin yung ating mga questions kanina. Number one, some common examples of screening test are the following except. So, hindi siya kabilang sa ating screening test. So, pap smear for cervical cancer. Pasok po yan because pap smear is your primary screening test for your cervical cancer for women. Letter B, we have your cholesterol levels in heart disease screening. So, pasok din po yung ating cholesterol level for screening for risk for your cardiovascular diseases in your clients and let us see we have your PSA or your pro, uh, we have your PSA we have your prostate specific antigen level for prostate cancer in men pasok din po yan kasi yan po yan ang primary screening procedure for your prostate cancer in men and letter D is the correct answer urinalysis for male and female clients although nakaka-detect po yan ng mga UTI and other kidney uh, infection or kidney conditions hindi po siya routine as a screening test procedure. So, letter D is the correct answer for let number 1. And number 2, we have your the occupational nurse has advocated the use of ramps and assistive equipment for physically challenged workers. This is a good example of which of the following levels of prevention. So, this is a common board question. Number 2, letter A, health promotion. B, secondary. C, tertiary. Or D, primary level of prevention. So, gumagamit po tayo dito ng assistive devices. So, it is a form of rehabilitation process. So, the correct answer in your number 2 is letter C, tertiary level. And number 3, the nurse is participating at a health fair at the local mall in uh, giving influenza vaccination to senior citizen. So, what level of profession is the nurse practicing? So, A, primary, B, secondary, C, tertiary, or D, quaternary. So, mali po ang quaternary kasi wala po tayong quaternary, uh, quaternary level of Profession. So, the correct answer in your number 3, since that is your immunization, the correct answer is primary level of prevention because immunization is to prevent your diseases. Okay, so letter, letter A is the correct answer. Number 4, so Nurse Rina performs crisis intervention in a community. So, what level of profession is the nurse practicing? So, A, primary, B, secondary, or C, tertiary, or D, quaternary. So, mali ang quaternary kasi wala po tayong quaternary level of prevention. So, since ang keyword natin is the crisis intervention, crisis intervention is under your secondary level of prevention. Kasi pag sinabi po natin crisis prevention, that is the primary level of prevention. Pero dito, we have a crisis intervention, that is your secondary level of prevention. That is a common board question. Letter B is the correct answer. And last, number five, the nurse performs genetic counseling for a couple. Genetic and prenatal counseling is under what level of your prevention? So, genetic counseling. So, pag counseling pa lang po yan, that is letter A, primary level of prevention. Okay? Prevention. So, okay. So, these are the five items, common board question about the levels of your prevention. <music> Thank you.